Randy McKee of Soccer 605. I'm here with Coach Jim Hill with the Sturgis boys. Uh, congratulations on a heck of a tournament, Coach. Well, thank you. It was a tough one in the semifinals. You know, losing 4-3. Um, Kid showed some real resolve to bring it back to tie it up 3-3. You know, a couple of questionable calls here and there, but that happens. That's part of the game and part of life sometimes. So, yeah, that's soccer. And you know, when we when we watched your team play Lincoln the first uh, time in Sioux Falls, um, the whole first half you looked like the better team, and it looks like you you had a whole 90 of that this game. Yeah, we did. I mean, it's just one of those things that it happens, and they're able to capitalize with the wind and have the big throw. You know, a kid that can throw the ball a country mile, and and it made a difference. So what about today's game? Did uh, Aberdeen really try to pack it in and defend on you, or did they try to come out of their shell a little? They came out of their shell, um, especially toward the end. We got up 2-0 at half. We attacked, kept attacking. We tried to get a little fancy in front of the goal and ended up not scoring a couple times when we probably should have. And, of course, uh, Stadel. Tyler Stadel probably is by hands down the best keeper in the state, and he showed it. He made four or five great stops to keep us from running the score up on him. So uh, was the was the possession that you usually have there together for you today, or did you did you go a little more direct on them? Yeah, we went a little more direct than I wanted. I, you know, our best is playing to the in lines, swinging the ball back. That's how we got our goals, and you know, we just tried not to do that too much at the beginning of the game. I mean, it's just like guys, got to get back to what works. So uh, how many how many uh, guys are you losing this year? We have eight seniors on the team. Well, that's a, that's going to be a big loss. I'm sure they're all contributing. Yeah, it's like last year. You know, when we made semis, we had 13 seniors last year. This year, I have eight. So it's going to be a loss. We're going to have to young kids really step up to fill in some spots. Well, one thing you got though in Spearfish is you got that culture that's always putting those kids in that hopper. And I mean, some of these sophomores and juniors you have coming up are just awesome. Yeah, we are. We've got some kids that need to work on some specific things, but uh, there are going to be some good players coming up next year as our junior class too. Well, Coach, uh, one thing we know for sure, that they come out of your program, they're going to be well coached and they're they're going to know how to play good soccer. And and uh, we sure look forward to watching them again next year. Okay. Well, thank you, Randy. And the nice part is for these kids, uh, ended with a third-place finish, showed that they deserve to be in the top. And probably the thing for us school history-wise puts them uh, third-best record overall for a team. So. And a good accomplishment for a school from a small town. Yeah, <laughs> considering that we are the smallest school and should be in the A, uh, we chose to stay in the AA because we knew we could be competitive. Well, and you sure are. Well, Coach, uh, congratulations on a really good year, and uh, congratulations on a good tournament. It's always great to visit with you, and thanks for the time you've given uh, us at Soccer 605 this year. I've been here for the 14 years, and uh, it's been worth it, and hope to stick around for a number more. Well, we'll make sure and... Uh, follow you around next year because I, I know you're going to have a great year again. Thank you.